Today's runway makeup look is from the Marc Jacobs Fall 2009 collection and I saw this look and was automatically drawn to it. I thought it was beautiful and dramatic and sultry and the makeup artist that created this look for his models was none other than Francois Nars and he is just a brilliant makeup artist totally brilliant and the theme for this makeup was makeup from the 80s Mark Jacobs just hit it right on the head it's so beautiful dramatic let me go ahead and come on in so you can see dramatic eyebrows dramatic eye makeup with the blush is right on the sides of the cheek not on the apples with the contour it's all kind of blended in there with the nude matted out lip totally 80s totally love it right now I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture uh, this picture is what I was inspired by I think it's just gorgeous but on her look she used or Francois used a yellow eyeshadow and I decided to use a gold so this is what I came up with and if you would like to see how I created this look then just keep on watching and I will show you how to recreate it I am just applying my Urban Decay primer potion I am applying it on the top lid as well as the bottom lid Now I'm taking Inglot Eyeshadow Pearl number 404 and I'm applying this to my crease and all the way up to the brow bone. Now I'm taking a black gel liner. This is by Luminous Air. You can use whatever gel liner you want and with a synthetic brush, this is from Real Techniques, I am just going to apply this to my eyelid. And it doesn't have to be neat. And then I'm going to start drawing out the shape that I want for this look. And I'm just going to blend that out. Now that I have that blended, I'm taking Inglot's AMC eyeshadow in number 63. And I'm just applying that color all over the lid. Now you will have a little bit of fallout, but you can clean that up in the end. Then you're going to take it under your eye as well. Now I'm taking an accent brush from Real Techniques and I am going to put some more of this black eyeshadow out here where the winged out part is and connect it to the lower lash line. to intensify and then just going over this to make it look sharp. Now I'm going to go back in with that Inglot gold color from earlier and I am going to just blend out this line because in the look it's not a real sharp defined look. It's a very blended out look. Now with what's left on the brush, I am going to softly go under the eye as well and blend that out a little too. So 
So the only thing that I didn't film is I just extended my eyebrow out to meet the peak of my eyeshadow. And the next thing I'm going to do is apply my mascara, which is the Lancome Hypnose Drama. For my waterline, I will be applying my Urban Decay 24-7 in zero, and I will also be tight lining as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up, finish the rest of my face, and I will be right back to show you guys the completed look. So this is your final look. Very, very nice. Very 80s. I really love it. It's very retro, but it's sultry and smoky and sexy. I'm going to zoom on in so you can see the eyes. My eyes are all red. Excuse that. And it's a very blended out, winged, thick eyeshadow look. He didn't want it too sharp. As you saw in the inspirational picture, it was very blended out. And that is what I did here too. And I just decided to use gold because I wanted to make it my own and I thought it complemented my skin color so well. So I'm going to show you the products that I used on my face. I actually used the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW25 and in NC30. These two colors make the perfect shade for my skin, literally beautiful beautiful and it's medium to full coverage which is awesome for contour I use the Mali shimmer shape and glow once again her shaping powder is one of the best out there it is just amazing and then for under my eyes I use the Mac pro longwear concealer in NW20 for blush I use motives shooting star blush let me show you very pretty, very 80s. I knew when I saw this that it would just go so well with the look. And it really does. It just goes so perfectly. And then for my lips, I actually used Strip Down by MAC Lip Liner. And then I combined two different lipsticks from MAC. I combined the Gaga 2, which is a very muted out color and Honey Love, which is a matte color. And I combined them together, and this is the end result. And before I applied the lip liner or lipstick, I used Painterly Paint Pot to mute out my lips. So this is your complete look, inspired by Francois Nars, who did the makeup for Marc Jacobs Fall 2009 collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all are enjoying my runway series. This is very fun for me. It's, it just shows a creative side to me that I don't get to show to you all very much. And I believe you could wear this look out, make it a little bit more wearable to like a club or say, um, oh my gosh, a club, a party. It's kind of dramatic, so it's not every day. It's not wearable, but I bet you guys could rock this. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next runway makeup tutorial. Bye you guys. Don't forget to check out my previous runway look that is the Christian Dior Fall 2010 inspired look. Thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.